sprawl. I'm shooting in, I'm reaching with this hand, the same hand that's going to the leg. On a head outside, we reach across and step across. On a head inside, we're stepping to the same side the leg's on and reaching our hand. We come down here and my knee is going to right here. That's its goal. I come here and I'm here. See how my knee landed right here? Notice if you drew a line between coach's feet and my knee, it's a straight line. If you can't draw a straight line, if you're back here, you've gone too far. If you're up here, you haven't gone far enough. So the shot is to come to here. Now what the other partner is going to do is he's going to sprawl down, but he's not covering me. It's like I sprawl, but I was able to get to the outside, right? This would be a sprawl where he covers me. This is where we get to during a chase the ankle. This happens a lot more than you think. And if you can't remember this position, once I teach it and you wrestle a match, you'll notice that you get your lock. Now what I'm going to do here, I've got my lock and I'm not letting go of my lock yet. I'm here. This elbow is staying on the ground. I don't want it coming up here. I want it on the ground. I want my lock down by the knee. I'm not up here. I'm here. My head's low and my neck's into him. I'm still on this knee and this leg's up. And I keep that elbow on the mat. I come around to the side, put my knee on this side of his leg, keep this lock, and then from here, I'll release my lock, drop to the foot, and put it up here, and it's called tabling it. If you remember our head outside finishes when we split the, split the legs, and we're splitting the legs here, you like to table the leg. I table it here. Once I'm here, then I'll come up, keep this locked, don't let it go yet, crawl up the body until you can get your takedown. Or here, lock it, go to the other leg, uh, shoulder in the butt, and drive forward, and then crawl up the body. Either one.